good morning please say something no 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 not this way good morning good morning sir welcome to this course in better spoken english uh, do you know why we say good morning what is the full form of good morning anybody please raise your hand what is the full form there is you know good morning comes at the end of a sentence what is the sentence the full sentence anybody yes please i wish you a good morning i wish you a good morning thank you very much what's your name chinmaya chinmaya do you know why english people wish each other or one another good morning england is a pretty cold wet and windy country you know there are summer temperatures are something like 11 and 12 degrees celsius imagine their winter also imagine it's drizzling all the time yes just as we have air conditioner here they have heaters in the room classrooms and then it is windy so when they meet one another they wish one another good morning or good afternoon or good evening and when they part what do they say when they part company have a nice day and when it is dark after sunset either good evening or good night okay i welcome you to this course in spoken english what will this course give you as you might see on the slides this course has three very simple objectives our first objective as the institute desires is to help you learn presentation skills as engineering scientists as scientists or later as practicing managers you will be expected to make lots of presentations there are studies which show that an average scientist or an average manager spends close to 40% of his time or her time sorry yeah, okay making presentations or attending presentations so it's it's going to be extremely important for you that you acquire this skill even at this institute before you walk out with your btech or mtech or any other degree you will be expected to make lots of presentations am i right say yes or no am i right yes sir yes. right you know so it is extremely important that you know your subject and it is more important that you must also know how to present what you know we will not be dealing with everything but some basics of the presentation skills will be dealt with here the second objective is to help you acquire some public speaking skill you know public speaking is another kind of affair it's like theater it's like politics it's like you know a whole lot of things there are lots of people who know quite a lot who know much who are masters in their subject but when you ask them to address a crowd of 500 people in an international conference they get tense they become nervous they almost you know start sweating they forget their own name or their topic you know so public speaking is going to be an extremely important part of your personality and your career growth if you want to lead your own friends your peer group you will have to be an effective public speaker which means you should be able to talk to a thousand people with the same degree of comfort with which you talk to your neighbor in the hostel your mother or father or other relatives not father fathers are difficult cups of tea right mothers yes okay you know you should be at ease 
So, we will try and see look at some skills that make you a good public speaker. How many people here feel nervous when they speak in public? Okay. Have you ever spoken in public? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Lovely. Okay. But we, we will overcome it before the end of this semester and the end of this course, you will become an effective and a confident public speaker. You may not have anything to say, but you will still be saying something. Okay? So, feel happy. Finally, because you know you will most of the time be making professional presentations and public speeches in English. Therefore, it is important that you should also acquire some basics, very fundamentals of English pronunciation. Okay. You know, uh, how many of you have ever been to a course in English pronunciation? No one. You know, in our Indian schools and colleges, we do not teach spoken English. That is one reason and a very important reason why this institute has a course in spoken English. You also know that when it comes to speaking, English is a different kind of language. Its writing system does not always indicate pronunciation. Sometimes C U T is cut, but P U T is. I will later tell you that any in many parts of the United Kingdom, in many parts of England in particular, C U T is also cut, not cut, but that is an exception. You know, the point I am making is the following that English spelling is not necessarily a good indicator of English pronunciation. Sometimes when you are in doubt, you should be able to look up a dictionary, check the pronunciation and get it right. Later I am going to ask you to buy a dictionary, buy any dictionary, you know, can you, I will give you the handout or tomorrow or I will tell you later an advanced learner's dictionary of any brand will be all right. Okay. This will be your course book, the better spoken English. Acquire a copy as soon as you can. Okay. This will guide you through the course and there are exercises in this book. Do those exercises as I tell you and you will find that your, your pronunciation, your accent is changing, you are becoming a more and more confident speaker. Is that all right? Do you understand? Am I too rapid for you? Okay. Are we together? Yes, sir. Lovely. May God bless you. Okay. How shall we evaluate you on this course? Okay. No examinations. Feel happy. <laughs> Love. Okay. Say wow. 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 No examinations. Okay. It's examination is such a boring thing for both the taught and the teacher. It is more boring for us. Imagine yourself looking at 40 answer scripts of a substandard kind. Okay. Nothing is more hazardous to your health than looking at those scripts and then at the end each student is ready to fight with you why he or she did not get 101 on 100. Okay. But we survive. So, on this course I took the permission of the senate to have no examinations. But they asked me, the Senate asked me, how will you distinguish between Arun and Kiran? Will they all get the same marks? I said, no. Then I said, each student here will make four presentations and those presentations will be evaluated on a progressive scale. You know? So, first presentation will be for about 50 seconds. If you like, you can, I have given you a handout. It says that if you like, you can make a note. Okay. The first presentation will be for 50 seconds and the first presentation will take place tomorrow. Make a note. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, you will be talking about yourself. Please write. You will be talking about yourself. Okay.
the next three presentations as the slides tell you will happen in February, March and April. As I have as I told you yesterday and as I have written on these slides, the next presentation will be for 110 seconds, the third presentation will also be for 110 seconds and the final presentation will be for 120 seconds. They will have different kinds of topics, I will tell you about them as we approach those topics. For tomorrow, prepare a presentation on who I am, please write. Okay, I'll I'll tell you more about uh, what you can tell me on this topic a little later. Let me go through the introductory part first. Is that all right? Yes, Is that all right? Say yes, yes or no. Sir. Any questions, please? Anything? Shall we go? Yes. Okay. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are you comfortable? Yes. yes. Lovely. This is the textbook I told you about. Why do we need a course in spoken English? You may ask, after all you speak English, do not you? Is there anyone here who does not speak in English? Since you are already walking, already running, why should you have a course in running or why should you have a course in walking? You may ask me, right? The answer is extremely simple. The answer is number one. English is a spoken language, you know like Sanskrit. How many of you know Sanskrit here? Yes, lovely, one, two, three, not bad. Last semester I taught a course, we had 56 students and only one boy said he knew Sanskrit here, at least three out of 40, so we have better percentage here. You know Sanskrit is a wonderful language. but it is no longer popularly spoken language, it is no longer a popularly spoken language. It is mostly confined to reading of books or uh, wedding ceremonies or last rites when your grandfather or people like me die, okay. but it is rarely the case that a boy tells another boy in Sanskrit, let us bunk the class today. <laughs> Does it happen? Does it or does not it? Or it is rarely the case that a, an engineering scientist today makes a presentation in Sanskrit. Of course, uh, Doordarshan, the television of the government of India has a news telecast in Sanskrit. Have you seen that telecast? Anyone? Raise your hands. Lovely. So, there is you know, but Sanskrit is not a popularly spoken language, right? In Europe, Latin has nearly the same prestige and status. You know, it, it is mostly you know, confined to books or to church or to some extremely restricted purposes. All right? But unlike them, English is a spoken language. English is the language of business. No matter what company you join, even if you join Inadu, even if you join Ushodaya Industries in Hyderabad, the language of business is, is it Telugu or English? It is English. Even when you join Navbharat Times, okay, even when you join Hindi speaking television or mass media company, the business records are mostly kept even in India today in English and worldwide, English is the language of business. I am not saying business cannot be performed in other languages, but by accidents of history, it so happens that English is the language of business today. English is also the language of science and technology. According to some people, all data on all the computers of the world put together have a huge portion only in English. These days you have search engines which also run in Tamil and Hindi and 
Bangla and Marathi, but most of the time what is it? English and English is also you know when you go to an international conference or a multidisciplinary conference where people from physics and mechanical engineering and humanities come together, then you do not speak there, you do not make presentations there in Telugu or Tamil or Hindi or Bangla, you make your presentation there in English, even in Europe. You know, until recently French used to be the language of science until about the first world war, but after the first world war English gradually because of American quote unquote power, English became gradually became the language of the world. Even beauty contest is held in English, even sports are held conducted in sports events are conducted in English. Moreover, as I told you earlier, as far as I know, no, no school in India teaches a proper curricular course in spoken English. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, so all the more reason you know that we should have a course in spoken English. Okay. Let's go. You might say, is my spoken English not all right already? I would say yes, it is all right, or nearly all right. You know, I have no difficulty understanding you. You have no difficulty understanding me. I hope. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? In yes, sir. Okay, but when you go beyond your city, town, or village, or country, when you go out in the world, okay, English is not spoken in the same way, with the same accent, all over the world. Okay, moreover, you know, written English is guided by spelling, punctuation, vocabulary, you know a different kind of grammar. I am sure you have appeared at English language examinations, where you had questions testing your knowledge of spelling, vocabulary, punctuation, am I right? Yes, sir. But have you ever appeared at an examination, which tested your knowledge of stress, intonation, rhythm? Have you? So, you know that is the point. Spoken English has a different grammar, a spoken language, any spoken language, be it Telugu, be it Hindi, you know. When we write, we write elaborately complete sentences. But in you know, when we speak, we just say hello, hi, okay. That is a complete three sentences. Hello, hi or good morning, and okay, are you okay? Okay, that is how it is understood. Okay, spoken language has a different grammar. What are the features of a spoken language? Number one, it is not guided by spelling and punctuation. What is it guided by then? What separates one word from another, one phrase from another, one sentence from another? How are these words put together? It is guided by these three things. Please make a note on your notebook. And I am going to ask you to learn to speak with these three things. Okay. What are they? Can anyone read it aloud to me? What are they? Pause, Pause stress, stress, stress and, intonation. and intonation, not intonation, intonation. Together, what are these? Pause, Pause stress, 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 stress. Together again. What are these three things? Pause, Pause stress, 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 and, and intonation. intonation. You know, you pause just as you leave a space between words when you write. You pause between words and phrases, between phrases when you speak. Stress, some part of the sentence is stressed. Just now I stressed three. These are the three things. I did not say these are the three things. I did not say these are the three things. Did I say that? I stressed three. So, you know in spoken language, stress is important. Which part of the sentence is stressed? Which part of the word is stressed? If it is a long word, okay, then which part of the word is stressed? 
in English that is extremely important. Okay. So, pause, stress and intonation, what is your tone, are you asking a question, has the taxi arrived or are you making a statement, of course, the taxi has arrived, do you see my point, you know the sentence in, in, in spoken English you do not say has the taxi arrived question mark, in writing you do that, you say has the taxi arrived question mark, but when you speak to your friend you do not say Arun has the taxi arrived question mark, do you say that, then how does Arun know it is a question, Arun knows it is a question, Kiran knows it is a question because of your tone, you have a question tone, has taxi arrived? Is IIT Madras a good institute? Of course, it is because you are here, right. Okay. So, you know different kinds of sentences have different kinds of tones. We have to learn pause, stress and intonation. You already know quite a lot, it is not that you know nothing, you already know quite a lot, but if there are a few missing parts, we have to acquire those missing parts. Am I clear to you? Yes. Say yes or no everybody please, yes. I see no smiles on your faces, I see you worried, are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Lovely, may God bless you. Okay. What are pauses, look at them for one minute, look at them silent, look at the slides silently, but <coughs> carefully. And then I am going to ask some of you to raise your hands and read some sentences aloud, but with pauses, do you understand? Look at these sentences, take any one sentence and I will ask you to read it aloud with pauses, sentence or phrase or words, whatever they are, but before you speak, you, I will request you to raise your hand, so that my friends behind the camera can pick up your lovely face, your bright young charming face on their camera. Okay? All right. Who first? Raise your hand. You do not have to take an entire sentence, take any one line. Okay. What is your name? Rohan. Rohan. Lovely. Rohan, read the first line. To be or not to be is the question. Marvelous. That is great. Thank you. That is fantastic. Next. What is your name? Pranav. Pranav. Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark. Okay. Next, next, come on please, anyone raise your hand please, at least some people, do not you want to be picked up by the camera? Okay. The new Oxford English Dictionary edited by Richard Mosby and published in 1916 by Clarendon Press in Oxford United Kingdom. Okay, next, yes, what is your name? Samir. Okay. All the beautiful red roses. Next, what is your name? Vimal. Okay. There is something rotten in the state of Denmark. Okay, you know, you must take pause and must take audible pause. You know, I am asking you to be silent such that your silence is heard. Do you see the point? You know, where you speak and when you suddenly go silent, your silence is heard. I have been speaking for the last 20 minutes and if I stop speaking, then my silence will be heard. I have stopped speaking. Okay. So, you know there should be pause, but it should not be too long, it should not be too short. I will tell you as we go into it, we are going to spend quite some time learning to speak slowly, but these things are extremely simple. These are common sense things and you have done it nearly rightly nearly every one of you, one or two of you did it extremely well, you know, it is just common sense. So, that is pause, that is the grammar of spoken English, that is what you have to learn. What is stress? Okay. In English, you know, I, we will spend 
quite some time on it nearly 10 hours talking about this. In English there are no hard and fast rules about ok, there are rules about which part of the word is going to be stressed, but unlike our languages it is not always the beginning of the word or the end of the word, you know it, it, it changes, it varies for a number of reasons English words are different, different words are differently stressed ok. And we know those words, we know the spelling of those words, but once again nobody has drawn our attention to something called stress on these words. So, for example, look at these words before you, I am going to ask you to speak those words, you know read those words aloud to me with proper stresses ok. Uh, those who have not spoken, so that they also they are also their faces are also captured by the camera ok. How many of you can uh, ok, any, uh, anyone first who is going to read some words aloud? Raise your hand, somebody please ok. Amy. What is your name? Aman. Aman ok. Amy. Ok, next you can stop next. What is your name? Ashwini, ok. Almost. Next, what is your name? Vishan. Ok. Scientific. Ok, not ok, but I will tell you, I will come back to you. Yes, what is your name? Aditya. Aditya, ok. Always. Always. Next, Arun. Engineer. Ok. Component. Right. You see, you have spoken about six words and at least four of them have been mispronounced. Watch me, the, your pronunciation of any was right, it is any, the first part is pronounced. Speak with me, any, any. once again, any. yeah stress first part, any. any, then the next word is stress the first part, almost, almost, almost. ok, but next, next word again, it is first part of the word again, always, always, say it again, always, say it again, always, but the next word the second part is stressed. So, what is it? Between, between, what is it? Between, between, say it again, between, the next word? Cement, cement, in the second line the first word? Component, is not component, it is component, what is it? Component. Say it again. Component. Say it again. Component. Next word. Competence. No, the first part is stressed. What is it? Competence. Competence. What is it? Competence. Open your mouth full and then close it slowly. Competence. Competence. That's English. Say, come on again. Competence. Open your mouth full, slowly, close it slowly. Competence. Competence. Say it again. Competence. Great. Next, develop. No, it is develop. What is it? Develop. Listen to me again. Develop. What is it? Develop. Come again. Develop. Once again. Develop. Yeah, it is develop. Next, engineer. You guys are going to be X, and you don't even know how to pronounce that X. It is not engineer. It is. Listen to me carefully. It is engineer. What is it? Engineer. Once again. Engineer. Once again. Engineer. Next time, I do not want anybody in this class to be pronouncing his profession as engineer. You are going to be? Engineer. Engineers. What are you going to be? Engineers. What are you going to be? Engineers. Engineers or engineering scientists. Ok. Next line. The first word? Academic. No, it is academic. Who said that? What is your name? Raise your hand. Let your let the camera capture your lovely face. Okay, I am so proud of you. Okay. Academic. What is it? Academic. So you do not go to the academic section, you go to the academic, academic section. What is it? Academic. Academic. Go once again. Academic. Once again. Academic. Yes. Next. It is scientific. What is it? Scientific. scientific. Stress T. T has the loudest, you know, the greatest turbulence, loudest noise. 
scientific what is it scientific once again what is scientific. it once again scientific and the last word the challenge the mount everest the peak what is it absolute engineers always talk about this what is it absolute no it is obsolescence what is it obsolescence what is it obsolescence so you see from these few words that different english words are you with me yes. everybody please are you tired no. no my god bless you okay different english words are differently stressed unlike us you know we don't say amar and then we don't say arun okay but in english you know somebody is robert but other person is macbeth okay you know that is how they are Engli english are funny people and their language is also funny but you know i mean it in a lighter sense lighter vein you know but this is how it is so when you learn a new word you must also learn its pronunciation particularly the way it is stressed do you understand me next intonation what is intonation i told you a while ago that meaning partly lies in the word and partly lies in the tone the same words can make you laugh and the same words can make you cry if i tell you so you think you are honest right is it a compliment is it a compliment why not why why not your tone was, your tone was different my tone was intimidating sarcastic threatening i almost said arun i'll cut your head kiran i will cut your head and speed post it to your father in law okay or your mother in law okay it was sarcastic but it can also be encouraging enthusiastic jovial loving affectionate oh you are an honest person what is it even if varun is caught stealing a pencil from my room i and if i say oh varun come on i know you are an honest person what kind of tone is that encouraging, encouraging. don't steal the pencil again okay it's a mistake you know sometimes boys make such mistakes so tone is extremely important meaning does not lie only in words it is partly also the function of the tone we will talk more about it as we go along but the point i am making is spoken english is a different cup of tea do you see the point yes or no yes sir because it is used in a different manner you do not say arun are you honest i am sarcastic arun you are honest i am encouraging okay you do not say for breakfast i take butter comma bread comma omelet full stop do you do that you don't but your pauses are of different lengths for breakfast i take coffee bread an omelet with some milk and fruits okay you know so this is how it goes when i said okay i didn't just say okay question mark your tone your pause gives you the sentence i am going to ask some of you to read some of these sentences aloud slowly don't be in a hurry there is no hurry okay right uh those who have not spoken yet so who first the first ex, the first expression come on come on those who have not spoken don't feel shy okay this is a course in spoken english you won't learn until you speak right what's your name ajay sir ajay marvelous oh god my god it's not oh god it's like you know uh, you are whispering is like cheating at an examination at iit <laughs> do it loud you are crying to god come again oh god yes my god oh god my god come again oh god my 
my god okay stress on god not on my sometimes you can say my god but that's rare you know it will be oh god god round your lips everybody please <laughs> oh, oh god my, my, my god. god do you see the difference and simply say oh god my god it looks like you know you were going from the hsb to the mandakini hostel and you got wet okay is an enthusiastic cry to god the supreme father okay or the supreme enemy whatever you like so you know it has to be the tone has to be like that oh god your lips have to be rounded oh god my god okay next who will do next what's your name kalpesh please what a lovely rose oh no come on on this kind of expression not even a boy will be your friend <laughs> <laughs> come on give me the tone again what a lovely okay what's your name Jadav. raise your hand yeah what's your name jadav yadav jadav okay what a lovely rose next Come on please are you are you are you afraid of making mistakes remember one oldest axiom about knowledge and learning nobody has learnt anything unless he or she is ready to make mistakes and ready to accept it but don't make the same mistake again okay there is nothing that we have learnt without making mistakes Do you remember when you began eating your milk and rice? I was there. The first day when you began eating your milk and rice, it went in every hole except your mouth. It went into every hole, your ears, your eyes, your nose, except into your mouth. But today you keep talking on the phone. Ah, uh, yes, mummy, I am studying. Okay, and you keep eating, right? So practice. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Come on, next. Who will do that sentence? What dirty weather? No, no. First, rose. Let's first get rose. The second line there. What a lovely rose! Oh God, you guys are you know you haven't read. Don't you watch good films in the O A T? What's your name? Richard. Okay. What a lovely rose. Your name? Me sir. No, the the young friend behind you. Anuj. Okay. What a lovely rose. Dinesh. What a lovely rose! What a lovely rose! Okay, you know the ordinarily speak, it can be said in all possible ways, as you have said. But ordinarily speaking, the you know the most important here is what? What a lovely rose! You know the real joy in your you know voice. What a lovely rose! Okay, you know the what. thing is to be over emphasized come on do it what, what a lovely rose. rose it's like you are running away from the class <laughs> go slowly you are giving rose to a good friend not necessarily in the other gender okay come on say it again what, what a lovely rose yeah, take time what a lovely rose what, what? this is tone you know you have to learn these little basic things next next line who will do that who will do that what dirty weather what dirty weather you know stress dirt what dirty weather come again please what's your name saurav come again what dirty weather yeah what dirty weather next line what a pity next line somebody jaan yeah mr uh, kartik i am kartik uh, what a pity yeah what you know stress what what a pity okay next it's a teaser who will like to read it aloud okay what's your name gokul yeah gokul come on john is honest but lazy yeah okay can you make some more variations john is honest but lazy uh, john is honest but 
but lazy. What would you like? John is lazy, but honest. What would you prefer to be called? Lazy but honest, or honest but lazy? Honest but lazy. How many people would prefer honest but lazy? Okay. And how many people would prefer lazy but honest? Okay. All right. You see, these are the nuances. Okay. Uh, next line. Is that the name of a boy or a girl? Yeah, a girl, an English girl, you know. I should have taken Mary, but I forgot to add Ra there, R there, but it is still a name, the name of a girl. Okay. So, what is it? Can you read it loud? May, but dishonest, make it disgusting. May is efficient but dishonest. I can say Ashwin is efficient, but dishonest. Pardon me. Okay. Right? You know, the, your tone is extremely important to a spoken language. Computer, there has been a lot of engineering in computer science and engineering to produce, to make machines produce naturally speech. And believe me, they produce naturally speech. The only problem for them is, they cannot bring intonation. They cannot bring a variety of tones. Someday I will take you to the speech laboratory of the computer science department and I will ask my colleagues to play some conversation to you. Believe me, the computer can talk like you and me, except that they have the same metallic tone. The train is coming on time from Bijayabada, passengers, please wait. You know, whereas you are, can I get excited? Hey, the train is arriving now, please come. Okay the machine cannot get that kind of tone. Okay. There are many other things that make a spoken English different from written English. As we go on, we will pick up these things. These things are basically, you know, a good speaker has a sound common sense. These things are products of common sense. You do not really have to learn anything which is very highly technical or quantitative or difficult. You have to bring your common sense into play. Say for example, if you relatively, if you everything else being equal, do you think slow speaker will be better heard or rapid speaker will be better heard? Slowly. Slowly. Obviously, slow speaker will be better heard. So, I am going to over emphasize slow speech on this course. Tomorrow, can we talk about tomorrow? Okay. Yes. Tomorrow, I am going to ask you to speak about yourself. Everybody will have 50 seconds only. Please prepare. You may ask me 50 seconds hardly any time. Okay. What can I say in 50 seconds? You can speak at least, are you with me? Yes. You can speak at least 300 words in 50 seconds. If you speak the way I am speaking now. If you speak more rapidly, then it can be much more, but do not do that. Speak about 6 to 7 words per second, okay? slowly with pauses, with proper tone and then tell us something about yourself. What can you tell us? Your name, roll number, hostel and room number, that will take 15 seconds. Then, do not tell me your JEE rank. Okay, I am sick and tired. Okay, JEE rank was because of Agarwala or other coaching that you did. Tell me something about who you are, something which speaks about you as the person, your hobbies, your ambition, your dream, the kind of, do not tell me silly or dirty jokes. Okay, but tell me something, you know. Uh, tell me something relevant about yourself, something important about yourself. What? How do you? When you have free time, what do you like to do? You know, a large number of people at IIT like to sleep when they have free time. Some other people chat on phone or mail. 
how many of them go to the library during free hour? Are you that kind? You may not be that kind and it is not that everyone who goes to the library is a great angel and those that do not go there are devils, but each person here has a different concept of spending free time. So, tell me about you can bring a photograph if you like, you can bring your slides if it is possible we will upload them here if you can give them to my friends. I have some friends here I will tell you about them if you can give it to them they will upload it before you come and then tomorrow each of you will have to speak for 50 seconds. I will make notes I will call you one by one and then I will give you feedback later. Okay? So, just a few things about yourself who you are, where you come from, how you spend your free time, what are your dreams, what are your hobbies, what are your problems, some failures from which you learnt, some successes from which you learnt, but not everything. You cannot speak about everything, pick up what is interesting about you and you will have a great 50 second presentation. If possible rehearse before you speak here tomorrow. Do you have any questions? Okay, you can also bring up to two slides. I will see if we can upload it and because the class tomorrow is at 8 o'clock, okay, I am not sure how we can upload it, but let us see. Prepare it and contact me this evening. I will contact my friends in the studio here and if they can upload it, that will be great. But even if you do not have the slides, it really does not matter. Your yawn will be picked up by the camera. Okay, and my friends in other countries in other colleges will admire your lovely teeth, okay, which is not bad. right? <coughs> Do you have any questions before I, I stop? Okay, so, I would like to summarize. This course has a very simple objective. It wants to teach you, it wants to help you acquire Number one, presentation skills. Number two, public speaking skills. Okay. Number three, globally acceptable pronunciation of English, so that you do not say competence or component. You say component, but competence. Okay. Why is this spoken English important? Because it is a spoken language, it is the language of business science and technology, it is the language of sports for anything global today, actually for anything national today, you know, even in India, even within India, if you want to do something at the local level, you can use only Tamil or Telugu or Hindi, but if you want to do something at the national level, you know, Inadu sells, Dinatandi sells 2 million copies, but it is a regional paper, Hindu sells only 7 lakh copies, but it is a national paper because it is in English. So, if you want to do anything national, English is the language. All right. Spoken English is a different cup of tea from written English. Why is it different? Because spoken English is guided by what are the three things? Come on again. Pause, stress, and intonation. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, have a good day.